Yeah, thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Dr. Radner, I wanted to talk to you about um, allies and partners, uh, something that you've raised, all of you have raised in terms of the importance of what's happening in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, we've seen in the European theater right now what allies and partners means when it comes to response to Ukraine. And I feel like it's an important moment to, to take a step back and gauge what allies and partners means in the Indo-Pacific, especially when it comes to a counterweight against the PRC. Uh, you, Dr. Ratner, you were just talking about India, for instance. Um, you talked about the Quad. You talked about some of the challenges there when it comes to India's relationship with Russia. But you feel like that's moving in a, a better direction. I, I guess I just want to point blank ask you, do you assess that India is the reliable partner that we need? Is there any concerns on your end about the Quad, about India uh, moving forward in terms of uh, their actions when we will need them in the future? Uh, Congressman, I, I perceive the U.S.-India defense relationship as one with uh, incredible momentum. Uh, we're going to hold our uh, highest, most senior level engagement with them in early April. That's a two plus two with Secretary Blinken, Secretary Austin, and their counterparts. Uh, and that meeting will discuss uh, a number of activities that not only are unprecedented, but are the kinds of things that would have been unimaginable ten years ago or even five years ago. So. Uh, obviously, there are challenges uh, with the relationship with India, but I think they're manageable, uh, and we are uh, moving forward very rapidly in, in deepening the partnership. Uh, you know, I see those partnerships strengthening our ability to communicate, have that dialogue, do exercises. But I guess what I'd like to just get a sense of from you is what does it mean for the allies and partners under duress? What does it mean to have this tested? So in the event of some type of, of conflict with China, I wanted to ask you, what specifically are the objectives? What would we want to see come to fruition when it comes to our allies and partners? How do we test and assess uh, what that would look like under those types of strain that we see right now in Europe? Congressman, it's obviously a very uh, context-dependent question. Um, in, the, in the case of India, we have seen a test case of this in the last several years when the Indians were facing aggression from China on the line of actual control where the United States rapidly provided capabilities and intelligence and in the, in the context of trying to improve trust in the nature of the defense relationship, that was a defining moment. So this is about them being uh, ready to support our efforts but also us being ready to support theirs and these are exactly, precisely the kind of conversations that we're having at a political military level with a number of our closest partners. With the military, well, with the arrangements that we have when it comes to our partnerships in the Pacific, um, AUKUS, Quad, am I correct that, and I just want to double check on this, that we none of these have any military requirements in the case that any of the other members get attacked, uh, something that would be more akin to what we have with NATO, is that correct? Uh, Congressman, neither the Quad nor, nor AUKUS is a uh, mutual defense treaty, uh, but we do have mutual defense treaties bilaterally in the Indo-Pacific that are akin uh, to NATO. So when we're talking about, um, you know, some of this, the situations that may occur, the one that we've talked about the most is about Chinese aggression upon Taiwan. Uh, I wanted to just ask what your confidence level is that the partners and the allies that we have in the Indo-Pacific as of now would step up in the way that we need? Uh, Congressman, again, that, that varies from partner to partner, but I am confident that some of our closest partners would be with us in a, in a Taiwan contingency. So in terms of the overall, um, I guess, trajectory and the health of our partnerships in the region, how would you grade it? Yeah, I'd like to just get a sense of your baseline right now and where we're trying to get towards. Congressman, uh, strengthening our alliance and partnerships has been an absolute centerpiece of the Biden-Harris administration. And in the Indo-Pacific, I think we have made considerable strides, including building upon some of the progress uh, that was made during the Trump administration. And again, when I look around the region, partner after partner after partner, uh, I see relationships that are stronger that, than they've ever been and, and that are on an upward trajectory. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back.